25 tips for living on a tiny retirement, whether you move abroad or stay local. Bom dia. I'm Alan, and this is my wife, Leslie. We're here with our son, Wolf, our dog, Greer, and Rex the cat. Today, we're excited to share 25 tips to help you live on a tiny retirement budget. These tips are designed for whether you're thinking of moving to a lower cost country like we did, or even to a more affordable area in your current country. Exactly. Some of these tips will apply to you no matter where you go, while others might make more sense if you're planning to move abroad. So take the ones that resonate with your situation and pitch the ones that don't. For context, we, to we sold everything and moved to Portugal, and now we're able to live on just one Social Security income if we need to. That covers all of our essential housing, food, healthcare, entertainment, and more. Yeah, if you're curious about the specifics, check out our cost of living video, which we'll link at the end. And don't forget to visit our website at it'llbefunretirement.com for resources on relocation, taxes, expert advice to help you make the transmission smooth, whether you're staying local or going international. All right. Let's dive into our 25 tips for living well on a small retirement budget. Tip number one, downsize before you move. The first step, downsize your life before you make any big moves. Whether you're relocating across the globe or just to a more affordable part in your home country, get rid of excess stuff, not only simplifies your life, but it can give you extra funds to start fresh. Oh, exactly. We made a lot of money on our garage sales mm -hmm. and on the sales that yep. we did. Tip number two, choose an affordable destination. Whether you're going abroad or staying local, pick a destination with a lower cost of living. For us, that was Portugal, but even within your own country, there are places where you can live comfortably on less. Research is key. Find what suits your lifestyle and your budget. Uh, Tip number three, embrace public transportation. If your new location has a good public transportation system, it's a great way to save money. We rely on buses and trains when we travel throughout Europe, and using public transportation can be significantly cheaper yeah. than owning and maintaining a car. The same goes for many cities in the U.S. and other countries. Make use of what's available. Of course, if you are a mechanic like I am, this one may not resonate with you. I'm keeping my bug. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to give it up. Tip number four, rent, don't buy, at any step first. When you move, whether abroad or just to a new city, consider renting first. It gives you the flexibility to explore different neighborhoods before committing to a home purchase. Renting keeps initial expenses lower and gives you more room to adjust if things change. And tip number five, Learn the local language or dialect. If you're moving abroad, learn the basics of the local language. It will save you a lot of headaches and even some money by reducing the misunderstandings. If your new country means that you will need to learn a new language, embrace it, and the locals will appreciate your efforts. They will. Tip number six, take advantage of free or low-cost health care. One of the biggest benefits of moving abroad to countries like Portugal is affordable health care. But even if you're staying local, make sure you're maximizing your Medicare and other health care options. Research the best health care plans available to you in your new location. Tip number seven, buy local, eat local. Eating like a local is a huge money saver, whether you're abroad or in a more affordable part of your own country. Local markets offer fresh produce and better deals than big supermarkets or imported brands. Plus, it's a way to engage more with your new community. True. Track your expenses religiously. That's a big one with you. No matter where you are, tracking your expenses is key to staying on budget. Use tools like Mint or OneApp, you need a budget, to keep an eye on everything you spend. Knowing where your money goes helps you to make smarter decisions and adjust when necessary. Tip number nine, maximize Social Security benefits. Delay taking your Social Security benefits if possible. The longer the wait, 
the more you receive each month. This can be done, especially if it's helpful in moving to a new country or city where the money will go farther. That's what I did, and it's been a game changer for Leslie and I. It really has. Tip number 10, research residence mm -hmm. and tax options. Each country, and sometimes state or region, has different requirements for residency or taxes. If you're moving abroad, look into visas and tax implications ahead of time. Don't wait. Our It'll Be Fun Moving Abroad program is designed to take you through all these steps so you would choose the correct location for your budget and your lifestyle. If you're considering staying within the U.S., consider which states offer the most tax-friendly options or choose your country that way. Tip number 11, use a VPN for financial security. No matter where you are, online security is crucial. Mm -hmm. If you're managing your finances digitally, a VPN adds an extra layer of protection, especially when you're using public Wi-Fi or accessing your accounts from abroad. Yeah, and we use Surfshark. Um, we have an affiliate link that's listed down in the description portion of any of our videos. So that takes us to tip number 12. Budget for visits back home. No matter where you move to, you're going to want to go home and visit periodically. So whether you're moving to a new country, new city, new state, you'll want to visit family and friends. Plan for occasional trips back home and budget for travel, especially if flights are involved. Look for off-peak deals to save on costs. Now, we do a lot of travel throughout Europe, but it is almost always in the off-season and on non-peak days. This allows our money to go further. Tip number 13. Take advantage of expat or newcomer communities before and after you move. Moving to a new place can feel isolating at first. We recommend that you join groups or communities before you go and once you arrive. We have an online monthly meetup for our It'll Be Fun crew while they are still in their home country and a local happy hour group for once they arrive mm -hmm. for a visit or tour. You will also discover valuable advice on everything from funding, planning, to a new housing, to adjust your new surroundings, plus they're a great way to make friends. Right. Tip number 14, avoid lifestyle inflation. Be careful not to let lifestyle inflation creep in once you settle into your new place. It's easy to start adding luxuries when you're in a lower cost area, right? Mm -hmm. But the goal is to live well within your means. Keep things simple and focus on experiences over material things. <laughs> Tip number 15, cook at home. Eating out adds up fast, no matter where you are. Cooking at home with local ingredients is cheaper and often healthier. Plus, it's a way to dive into local food culture, whether you're learning a new recipe abroad or exploring local produce in your hometown. Keep a minimalist mindset. Tip number 16. Living with less helps you focus on what really matters. Downsizing your belongings and keeping a minimal mindset can reduce stress and help you avoid unnecessary expenses. We are pretty good at this and by doing it, it allows us to spend more on travel. Tip 17, explore free entertainment. No matter where you live, there is also plenty of free or low cost ways to have fun. Look for walks, parks, free events, outdoor activities, and cultural festivals. Yeah. This one is one of the perks of living in a vibrant community, whether it's abroad or close to home. Good. Tip number 18, Invest in experiences, not stuff. Kind of goes back to the travels, saving money for travel. Instead of accumulating things, spend your money on experiences. Travel, learn new skills, make new memories. These are the things that enrich your life and retirement and bring lasting happiness. Uh -huh. Tip 19, look for senior discounts. And I got one the other day. Many countries, even cities, offer discounts for seniors. Always ask if a senior discount rate is available. You'd be surprised how much you can save on everything from public transportation to museum tickets. Tip 20, set up auto pays for your bills. 
setting up an auto pay for your bill is an easy way to avoid late fees and the hassle of keeping track of the due dates. Some services also give you a discount for paying electronically, so it can be a win-win. Also a good way to get rid of any mail coming in. That's true. Tip number 21, get outdoors. Being active doesn't have to be expensive. Hiking, going to the beach, or exploring parks is often free or low cost. Staying active helps your mental and physical health, and there's no better way to enjoy your new surroundings. Yeah, it's one of our favorite things, right? Tip 22, make friends with locals. Whether you're moving to a new country or new city, connecting with the locals can make your experience so much richer. They can show you the hidden gems of the area, offer advice, you're not going to find in a guidebook. Tip number 23, understand taxes. Yuck. Taxes don't disappear when you move abroad or to a different <laughs> state. Research tax treaties, local tax laws, and how your move will affect your finances. We recommend, strongly, consulting a tax advisor. This can save you lots of money in the long run. And we actually have ours listed down in the description um, of the of all of the videos for you to keep it simple. And it's on our website as well. So, tip 24, staying active. Be act being active is key to both health and happiness in retirement. Walking, biking, swimming, whatever you enjoy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Acting stupid on camera. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a great way to explore your new environment and mm -hmm. stay fit. I don't know about the staying fit, nah, part, nah, but whatever. I, I got that. One of the fouls messed up. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, tip number 25, stay flexible and open-minded. Finally, flexibility is a key. Moving abroad, whether you're moving to a new city or moving abroad, can come with challenges, but staying open-minded and adaptable will help you make the most of your retirement. Embrace the changes and enjoy the adventure. Yeah. That's it for today. 25 tips to help you live well on a tiny retirement budget, whether you're moving abroad or staying closer to home. Mm -hmm. If you found this helpful, check out our cost of living video listed here. And don't forget to visit www.it'llbefunretirement.com for more resources. Mm -hmm. So what will your next adventure be? Will you stay in a familiar place or will you take the leap like we did and move abroad? We made the leap to Portugal and we haven't looked back since. We built a life here on the beautiful island of Madeira and every day it feels like a new adventure. If you're thinking about making a similar change, check out our relocation team at it'llbefunretirement.com. We also have a DIY, DIY moving abroad program. That's easy for you to say. Yeah, for making it more smoother and enjoyable. Whatever you decide, just remember, it's your time. Embrace it, live it, and enjoy it. Every minute of it. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. It'll be fun. Oh, if you are new here, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We'd like to take this time to thank all our subscribers and add a special thank you to our Patreon crew. Your financial support is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Yep. See you next time. Yeah. I'm smiling. I'm smiling on the inside.